today we are going to learn a topic from physical pharmacy that is rheology and viscosity rheo means flow and logy means to study to study the flow of liquid when the stress is applied is known as rheology rheology was first determined by the scientist newton he has studied the study of flow of liquid and it follows the newton's law then it is called as newton system and if it does not follows the newton's law then it is known as non newtonian system newton's law states that viscosity is equal to sharing stress upon rate of shear where sharing stress can be calculated as f dash upon a and rate of shear can be calculated as dv upon dr and the unit of viscosity can be calculated in terms of poise cg's unit of poise is dyne second per centimeter square or gram per centimeter second one centi poise is equal to 0.01 poise fluidity is inverse of viscosity and it is determined as symbol phi hmm. kinematic viscosity is equal to absolute viscosity upon density of liquid at specific temperature the unit of kinematic viscosity is stoke and centistoke these are the various arbitrary scales for measurement of the viscosity which are used by various industries that are seibold redwood engler and many other different are used this table is important as gpet point of view these are the various liquids with their viscosity this curve represent rate of shear versus shearing stress this curve is known as rheogram or consistency curve and the slope of this curve is called as fluidity relationship between shear stress and shear rate is determined by this curve mostly simple liquid follow newtonian's law example water glycerin chloroform solutions of syrup and very dilute colloidal solution at room temperature molten vaseline behaves newtonian flow and at room temperature vaseline behaves non newtonian flow now non newtonian system is which do not follow newton's law of flow liquid and solid heterogeneous dispersions this all dispersion colloidal solution emulsion suspension ointments follow non newtonian system there are two phenomena or two types of non newtonian system that is time independent and time dependent time independent there are three types that is plastic pseudo plastic dilatant and in time dependent there are two types thixotropy and rheopexy non newtonian materials are analyzed in rotational viscometer now the first type of flow that is plastic flow it is the first type of flow in non newtonian flow it is also called as bingham flow plastic flow curve do not pass through the origin it do not pass through the origin but rather intersect shear stress axis the graph is plotted between rate of shear versus shearing stress and it does not start from origin so there is yield value yield value is also called as lag time and the slope for this curve is known as mobility substance those exhibit yield value are solid and substance begin to flow at smallest shearing stress or no yield value are known as liquid material that exhibit plastic flow are known as bingham bodies as its plastic flow other name is bingham flow so the materials that exhibit plastic flow they are known as bingham body the reciprocal of mobility is plastic viscosity as the reciprocal of viscosity was fluidity plastic viscosity is determined by u is equal to f upon f minus f upon g and small f represent yield value capital f represent shear stress u represent plastic viscosity and g represent rate of shear plastic flow is associated with the presence of flocculated particles in concentrated suspension butter ointment paste gels if there is increase in flocculated suspension there will be increase in yield value and if yield value is increased means there is indicative of force of flocculation is increased now second type of flow is pseudo plastic flow the curve for the pseudo plastic flow begins at origin 
it is completely a curve there is no part which is linear there is, if there is increase in stress increase in rate of shear there will be a curve which is not non linear viscosity cannot be expressed at any single value and the materials which follow the pseudo plastic flow are known as shear thinning materials and the example for this flow are liquid dispersion of natural or synthetic gums that are tracagan sodium alginate methyl cellulose or sodium carboxy methyl cellulose mud is at rest it is in random arrangement and it is bound with water and when the stress is applied polymers flow in one direction and it is unbound with water so afterwards there is decrease in internal resistance of material polymer molecules are released effective concentration and size of molecule is decrease now this formula is explained for pseudo plastic flow f press to n is equal to viscosity into rate of shear where n is number given to exponent if n is equal to 1 it follows newtonian system and if n is greater than 1 it follows non newtonian system then third type of flow is dilatant flow where curve exhibit dilatant flow system exhibit enhanced resistance to the flow with increase in rate of shear if there is increased in rate of shear there will be increase in volume hence they are called as dilatant dilatant materials are often termed as shear thickening system this curve represent dilatant flow if there is increase in rate of shear there will be increase in shearing stress suspension contain containing high concentration of solid or deflocculated particles follow the dilatant flow when the stress is removed system returns to its initial state of fluidity suspension of starch in water organic pigments in water this all are the examples of dilatant flow mostly kaolin zinc oxide this all swells in water at rest it is closed packed sufficient vehicle is required and relatively it has low consistency but then when the stress is applied it is open packed it has high void volume and it has insufficient vehicle and high consistency when n is less than 1 dilatancy increases when n is greater than 1 it follows non newtonian flow and when n is equal to 1 it follows newtonian flow plastic pseudo plastic dilatant this all three types were time independent of non newtonian flow and now time dependent non newtonian flow are thixotropy and rheopexy in thixotropy there is transformation of gel to sol and again from sol to gel when the heat is applied to gel it is converted to solution form and when the solution is again cooled it is converted to gel form when it is in solution form it follows brownian movement means the molecules are close bring brought close to each other by zigzag movement and brownian movement is also known as pedesis but viscosity will change of gel the gel which was initial will have different viscosity when the gel is finally made after the deformation breaking of the bonds which will lead to decrease in viscosity and thixotropy is directly proportional to stability of suspension ointments and emulsion sedimentation rate will decrease when particles remain suspended thixotropy mostly is used for shear thinning system now we have learned newtonian plastic pseudo plastic flows in newtonian there is no change in viscosity because mostly water syrups all this kind of suspensions are used in newtonian flow in plastic there is disappearance of yield value when we convert from gel to sol and again from sol to gel there is disappearance in yield value and in pseudo plastic it has decrease in viscosity and the graft is shift to left side means it will form a hysteresis loop and the hysteresis loop will decrease after each cycle bentonite under rate of shear and shearing stress will form a bulge or hysteresis loop when the crystalline plates are irregularly arranged or under stress or shear the crystalline plates are arranged to form the house of cards now there are spores formation this is shown by prokin penicillin g 
the spore formation represent a sharp point of structural breakdown at low shear rate negative thixotropy or it is also called as anti thixotropy in which sol is converted to gel and gel is converted to sol this mostly follows shear thickening system which is followed by dilatant materials in this increase in viscosity so the downward curves move toward right so the graph shift towards right at equilibrium it is in sol form example magnesia magma rheopexy is another topic in rheopexy sol gel sol is formed but at equilibrium the system will be in gel form measurement of thixotropy is calculated by planimeter this is all about rheology in the next part we will see about viscosity so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrinik jain peace out